throughout the length and breadth of Britain, the men who make football headlines during the winter months have been hard at work getting ready for kickoff day. A new season is beginning, one that could see the revival of British soccer. At the Football Association HQ in London, Sir Stanley Rouse faces the problem of how to find that shot in the arm that's vital to the future of our football. England's team manager, Walter Winterbottom, helps him seek the formula. Let's see what answers the clubs are giving. In Coventry, rebuilding doesn't only refer to their housing programme. They've been brightening up their football grounds and advised by trainer Vic Brown and manager Jack Fairbrother have been buying top-line players like Colin Collindridge and Tommy Capel. Financially, things are looking up. Season ticket sales have gone with a swing. Yes, they're confident in Coventry. Swansea, too, look to a brighter future now that coach Ron Burgess has come back to Wales again after a long, long spell with Spurs. Two of Swansea's big hopes are the Allchurch brothers, Len on the left and Ivor. Last year, Ivor scored the most goals for them and helped save them from relegation. Kilmarnock, who owe plenty of thanks to manager McDonald in the blazer, hope to carry on their good work this year. Ralph Collins is a steel worker during the week and their captain and right back on Saturdays. Will Harvey, the inside right, is another part-timer. He packs sweets for a living. A safety engineer and Kilmarnock's right half is Johnny Russell. Jimmy Brown on the left and Bob Tyne both have jobs in the motor trade. Angus, Kilmarnock's mascot lamb, is one of the few non-part-timers in this vigorous go-ahead club. Now to Western Supermare, where Bristol Rovers have been trying an experiment. They've been living under canvas for a few weeks and really roughing it. Intensive ball practice goes on through the morning and afternoon, and when it's time for grub, well, they have to deal with that too. The day begins at 7 a.m., and from then on, it's hard muscle-building work. Manager Bert Tan thought the idea up. His main purpose was to get the players in absolutely tip-top condition right from the start of the season and to instill into them a team spirit born of friendship. Yes, a tough course all right, but one that Bert Tan believes will pay off. He, like all the managers we visited, is full of confidence. That quality, as we saw in the World Cup, plus forceful attacking football, could set British footballers back on the road to the top. <laughs>